Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to work some word problems with dividing fractions to get practice with how those problems will be uh, written and also practice doing the actual work. So the first one says Jeff has one half pound of peanuts and he gives an equal amount to Jenny, Dave, and Tom. How many pounds of peanuts does Jenny get? So you see nowhere in this problem does it say to divide anything. It doesn't say, hey, do the division here. But so you have to know what you're, what you're doing here. Essentially, Jeff has a pile of peanuts this big, it's half pound. And then it says he's giving an equal amount to three people. So because he's doing that, he, by definition, he's dividing up his peanuts into three people. So that's what tells you that you're dividing, right? It wouldn't make sense for him to multiply anything because that would be trying to make it bigger or trying to multiply fourth. What you're doing is you're taking this much stuff and you're dividing it. You're chopping it up into three pieces to give some to each person. So what we really have is we know that Jeff has one half pound of peanuts and he's dividing it into three pieces. That's going to be how much Jenny's going to get. Now we've done this kind of problem many times before. First thing we do is we keep the division symbol, but we write this as three over one. Then we change this to multiplication and we flip this over. Then we multiply the tops. One times one is one, two times three is six. So how much? Six, one sixth of a pound. So that means that if Jeff has half pound of peanuts and he gives uh, an equal amount to three different people, then Jenny, which is one of those people, is going to get one-sixth of a pound. That's how much she's going to have. So it's a very useful skill to be able to divide fractions because a lot, this is a very practical kind of problem. You know, you might be dividing up candy or anything else. Now the next problem says that David has five-sixth gallons of paint and he divides it into four equal buckets. How much paint is in each bucket? So again, it doesn't tell you that to divide these numbers. But you know that you have so much paint, five-sixths of a gallon, which is almost a gallon, and you're dividing it, uh, well, it says he divides it into four equal parts, but I could have written the problem another way, and I could have said, you know, David puts an equal amount into four buckets. I could have written it in such a way where it doesn't say divide, but you know what you're doing. You're taking the paint, you're putting some in each bucket so that they're all equal. That means you're dividing. So how much goes in each bucket? Well, you start with five-sixths gallon, and you divide by four because you're putting it to four equal parts. So five, six, this four becomes four over one. And as we've always been doing before, now we change to multiplication. Five, six, and we multiply, we flip this over to one fourth. And now we can finally multiply. Five times one is five, six times four is 24. And the answer is five twenty-fourths. I can't simplify it anymore. Um, but 5 24ths is how much gallons or how much of a gallon that I'm going to have in that bucket because I, I have four buckets and so each bucket is going to have this much paint, 5 24ths of a gallon. That means if you take a gallon of paint and chop it in 24 pieces, then that bucket would have 5 24ths. All right? Now the next problem is also really practical because we're dividing a piece of rope. It says a rope is 5 sixths of a meter long and is cut into pieces one-eighth meter in length. How many pieces do I have? So I have a rope, I've measured it. It's not quite a whole meter long, it's five-sixths of a meter long, but I'm cutting it into pieces. So I cut an eighth of a meter here, and then I cut another eighth of a meter, and another eighth of a meter, and another eighth of a meter, all the way until I get to the end. How many pieces am I able to cut? So again, it doesn't say that I'm dividing these things. It doesn't say, hey, divide these numbers. You have to know that, because I'm starting with a long piece of string, a rope.